Hello, Dave Monick here with Coast Airbrush, and I'm with my good friend, Danny D. Danny? Uh -huh. Good to be here. Good to have you here. We worked on a project uh, not long ago for the FBS booth at this year's 2019 SEMA. SEMA. So welcome to SEMA, you guys. This is the cooler that we decided to kind of work with the FBS products on. And Danny, what do you think? How did it come out? I think it came out awesome. So uh, do I. Yeah, big time. So what we're going to take you guys through real quick is just a synopsis of what was used on this cooler. Now, we used the House of Color Shimmer 2 line, right? Correct. And what did you think about that? Oh, I loved it. I loved it. It works really well, especially with these colors. Now, I think when we were talking, you were also mentioning to me about the House of Color with the Shimmer 2 being able to be a true custom painter, being that you can mix the you know, carrier bases with the effects and come up with different sheens of color and effects of a color using the same base tone, right? Right. It made us uh, custom painters once again. I love when you say that, man. That's great. That's what we're always trying to do is push forward. And that's what FBS does here. And that's why they're here at SEMA because they're always pushing forward for all of us custom painters out there. Wouldn't you agree? I agree. 100%. So one of the things that was unique about this particular project is the fact that we're using a lot of their vinyl tapes that you have down here from the red all the way to the blue, the green, and even the orange. And although they are different thicknesses in the tape, one of the things that Danny was able to do is to signify different sections of the paint job, just utilizing them as the color so it separated it, right? Right, it made, it, visually it made it really easy to, to know where I'm taping things up and not getting real confused with just one color. And for those of you that don't really know Danny D, although I'd find that hard to believe, he is basically low rider painting royalty to everyone here at Coast Airbrush. So <laughs> Thank you, I <laughs> It's nice that. to get your opinions and to work with you on this particular project I, you know, being in the business for 30 years, I find it really interesting, Danny, because I watch your methods. And although I've seen other people kind of duplicate the methods, one of the things that was really exciting to see is how well you executed and how fast you did it. It was almost like mesmerizing. It was like watching a really good choreographed, you know, kind of show. <laughs> <laughs> right on. So I'm not blowing your head up too much, am no, I? No, no, no. I've had people tell me that uh, they watch me and they don't know where I'm going with it. And they right. think, this isn't going to work. And at the end, hey, how did you make that work, you know? <laughs> and that was what's cool is though, although these tapes, the vinyl tapes, they send us in a direction with how easy it is to turn based on their thickness or how, you know, how well they'll turn. You can still use them in conjunction with one paint job like you did just to signify different color variances that you're doing along the way. Correct. So it doesn't mean that you have to just cut tight turns with just the, you know, the red tape that's down here, the La Rouge. Uh, that's being the thinnest one, the thinnest vinyl that they have, and then working your way up. You can work them all into one paint job. You just have to be more mindful of those turns and those corners, right? Correct. So that's one of the products that we used on the job. The other thing that was really awesome to work with, and I've always kind of talked about the FBS, is the Pro Mask. They have two different sizes of the pro mask that we use on this job and being able to tape off certain sections real quickly uh, this is just a nice little handheld tape machine right. so when you're doing traditional graphics especially low rider you're doing a lot of um, you know overlays and fades and blends and you're going back with colors right. you know and that's what's really cool about being able to just quickly mask and you can even reuse it sometimes although I yeah. don't recommend it but yeah. you know being able to remask certain sections throughout the paint job using the hand mask which yeah. came in yeah, very handy <laughs> very, very handy this makes it so fast I mean especially because you don't have to leave your station to go grab something oh I need something big or small just right keep pulling and pulling until you run out yeah and then what's also awesome is you can refill this you got the refills awesome i can't be happier selling the fbs products and the support that they've shown not only coast airbrush as a dealer but also all the artists they've been so generous with everybody and they really take a lot of the input and it's nice to see they have someone like dan fontaine you know trigger man it's nice to be working with somebody from a, a manufacturer standpoint that actually is a painter that is in the field with us, working with us, mm -hmm. and taking in all of our information that we give them and us giving it to them and him you know, interpreting it along with the manufacturer and giving us really good products. Yeah, the, the, probably the best thing about FBS is that it's targeted to the custom painter. That's what I love too. It's, you know, it's not like the other tapes are, are specific to different things. This is solely for the custom painter. Yep. So this is our tape. Now, one of the things that you really like too, and that I really liked, and even in the RC industry, it's just become oh, really, yeah. really popular, was the micro tapes. Oh yeah, the micro tapes are awesome. I know you're a big fan of that. I'm and a big at, fan, it's so small. I don't know small. if we can take a little quick look on here on some of the micro tape usage, but there's a lot of it on here. <laughs> yeah, so if you're here at SEMA, if you look at this pink line, that's what done with the micro tape, and then hear me, Next to it in the blue is me trying to show off my pinstriping work. Uh, <laughs> yes. So it's, it's kind of a challenge, but you can use it, you know, however you want to. And it's, now, it's pinstriping awesome. obviously is a different kind of raised, semi-elevated look when we outline graphics. But being able to do this kind of detail with the tape and not see bleeds 
and to be yeah. able to pull those types of lines. There's three sizes of the micro tapes that a lot of people aren't familiar with. They just kind of look at that in the roll and they go, what would you ever use that for? And I go, basically, this is what we use to back mask a whole car. Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Can you imagine just taping out a whole car with a micro tape? Oh, my God. That would be fun. Now, I have watched Dan Fontaine right, right. do some really yeah. elaborate schemes, and I'm sure he'll be at the booth here right now if you're probably watching him. He's always grabbing the micro tape along with everybody else. He's probably right now doing it right probably now. Probably is. <laughs> and that brings us to another subject as we're kind of midway through what we're going to do here, uh, showing you guys the cooler for the FBS booth, and that's the tape challenge. Okay? Correct. Every year, FBS is putting on a tape challenge where you get to come compete for tape layouts at the booth for cash prize, well, basically prizes, and the shot at the title belt, Yeah, which yeah. is totally cool. So if you're walking by the booth right now, ask one of the guys here at the uh, FBS booth if you can be a part of the tape challenge at this year's SEMA. Right. It'll be fun. It's You'll so much fun. fun. Everybody has fun. I love it. That's one of my favorite things at SEMA to do. And always see all the, be able to come by and see all the people competing, and then it just kind of narrows down to the top guys, and yeah. boom. There you have it. Bragging rights. Bragging rights, that's right. And it's just a heck of a lot of fun. A good way to meet people, too. So very interactive booth with FBS here at the SEMA show. It's always a lot of fun. Uh, other products that they have that we've used, they have the FBS pump sprayers. They mm -hmm. have the uh, blue mask, which is a little bit confusing to some people because they also have the gold mask. And what I try to touch base with these two products on for people is the fact that when we have something extremely detailed, the blue mask cuts so easily that... On most plotters, you can really get into some microscopic detail when we're actually going to need something with a backing on it that we can use in our in our vinyl plotters. So this is a really lightweight, thin vinyl, similar to what you have in the blue tape over there in the fine line. But the paper product, via like what we have in our gold tape right here, via the gold mask, mm -hmm. right? This has a backing on it. And what's unique is most people would think the opposite when they come to me, Danny. They say, well, I want a vinyl one that I can stretch over. And I go... Well, that's not going to work. You know, yeah. if you basically try to stretch over something like a helmet or a motorcycle tank that's three-dimensional and you slice into it, it's going to pull. Right. It's going to pull. So right. don't be misconstrued behind, like, the, the word stretch a lot or that you think you need vinyl to do something like that. It actually works better to use the paper product. You can actually fold out the creases and the width of this particular product and the fact that it doesn't have a memory to it, so to speak. Mm -hmm. Vinyl does. It wants to conform back to its original state. So the paper product, being the, the gold mask that we have right here, uh, that one is kind of working better for when we've got something that's select, you know, that's a three-dimensional object, and we can actually tape over the surface of that and kind of get everything to lay down and be symmetrical without right. pulling back on itself. So, right. An awesome thing, too, about this gold is if uh, you want to hand draw, if you will, want to hand draw your design like I did on the FBS logo, I just put it on there, hand drew it, and just cut it out yep. and sprayed it. So you don't need to, that's a very good point too. Right. So here I am cheating with a plotter <laughs> and old school, <laughs> Old school. <laughs> Old school, my friend of 30 years in the business, is going to tell you that he still hand cuts. Yeah. He's still going to hand I cut. I still it. hand cut, hand letter, everything. And the, being, that, being that you said that, the way that that pro particular product hand cuts, it's so thin and so fine that it's semi-transparent, so you can see through it for like overlaps. But when you're cutting with a blade, even on the surface at times, which we kind of tell people to be careful about, mm -hmm. you don't have to put a lot of pressure down. Right. It's more of like a rice paper, a really thin type of paper. So it's a lot easier than, say, using like a real heavy masking tape. Yeah, okay. you just have to kiss kiss this with the razor. Exactly, it just kiss Beautiful. it with the razor, and it, it absolutely comes comes open easily, cuts open easily, yeah. as well as the gold tape. And this comes in a variety of sizes as well, you know, from FBS. And uh, this is just a phenomenal product. Yeah, this is so nice. I feel bad using it. Like, oh no, <laughs> I'm wasting it. <laughs> I, I do the same thing. Dude. I, I, this is the one that I keep around my shop. And I kind of hide it from people because right. I really want every size of my rolls because it's my go-to. Yeah. Every time I'm doing something. And the, the thickness of this particular product is so thin that it doesn't like to build up a tape edge either. Right. So Very that's light. another really big attribute that we, we look for in a custom paint job because there's times where we're not going to want to have a tape edge that we're going to pinstripe over or mm -hmm. even try to do a back, you know, do a, um, a tape stripe with. So that eliminates us a lot of the time from having that huge ridge and trying to bury it with clear coat and, and have those, those that, you know, that look in there that, that we just mill thickness don't build like. up. Right. Yeah. yeah. Horrible. So lots of products as well as like their crepe tapes that we uh, failed to mention here. This is going to be for you painters out there. And some people will say, well, geez, why don't I just use vinyl for everything, Dave? And we quickly kind of tell them when you're laying out graphics on a vehicle that's really, you know, large and long, if you're going to lay something out, sometimes it's better not to have something that can creep back or that you stretch. It right. might stretch too much. Right. So having a crepe tape to do your layouts, you get the natural contours of what you're doing to the surface. And that's really the advantage of using like a crepe tape versus a vinyl. 
is it's not going to stretch out on you. Right. Right? Yeah. So this is a product for everything that we do. For my basic layout, I love using this one. The one eighth for yes. everything. I lay everything out. If you're out. laying, say, like flames or graphics on oh, a car. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. It's nice to be able to lead with. It's not going to stretch. Mm -hmm. So you get really nice lines. They do make little kits, little starter kits that you have and all these different types of tapes also. So they're putting together these nice little kits. FBS is constantly adding to their repertoire of products and they're very involved in what we're doing here in the custom paint world and other worlds abroad, you know, industrial industries, you know, with their, with their sprayers and all kinds of other things. So uh, what does FBS stand for, Dan? Finding better solutions. It sure does, doesn't it? Yes. And that's what we're going to do here at SEMA is find better solutions. That's why you're here. All right, Dan, I've had a lot of fun talking to these guys. Same here. Let's go talk to some more people at SEMA now. See you guys out there.